This is Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. Now we're here on the beach, just outside of the mysterious cave. And I'm trying to get the entrance to the mysterious cave to show up. There it is. Look how mysterious. Are you ready for the mystery? Are ya? Because it's mysterious cave time, y'all. Dark cavern. All right, we're in a cavern. It's dark. We're moving carefully forward. I hear sound effects. I see a lot of caveness. The glowing bits and large crystals, and very interesting looking rooms with. Prominently lit statues and a whole crazy looking place here As I am looking ahead and considering What is coming Hold on Let's make sure that we Know what we're doing here Bane Stealth Scout. Whoa, look at this place. I can see like stars in this and stuff. Pretty wild. Hey, hey you. Let me see what you've got under there. Go on, go on. Show me your... Let him finish. Pecker! Wait, do you even have a pecker? Who's this motherfucker? I know there's a treasure buried here. Where is it? If you want treasure, go find a mirror. Now get your glittering bones away from me. Go clack and chatter at someone else. Whatever. You're a fool. Until next time. Trump doy. Where the fuck this guy's supposed to be? We encountered a strange man named Trump doy within the cavern who mocks and threatens us. Let's rejoin the party. Bring the whole team up here. Let's talk to him with my main character. After performing the save, which is quick. Oh, uh, look at you. Tell me, do you always slink around with the air of a child caught drawing naughty pictures in church? What are you so afraid of, lad? Daddy's belt? Or is it Daddy's... Pecker? This guy really likes the word pecker. Have one more chance to change your tone or you're going to regret it. Ha! <laughs> you're cute when you think anyone should take you seriously. Give them my regards. Tell me where the treasure is. Oh, I really don't feel like chatting now. Why don't you go home to your wife and kids? Maybe follow your grease trail back here another day. Give them my regards. I Until no we meet again, Daddy. Don't call me that. What does Sabeel have to say to him? Oh, that mark. What's a disfigured slave doing in my lair? Come on, slave. Show me your... Is he gonna say Packer again? Tits! Seriously? This guy. 
Have one more chance to change your tone or you're going to regret it. I don't fear dogs. Why don't you bark for me, Elf? Go on, bark. Where's the treasure? <laughs> How funny that you'd think I'd answer to a lizard's pet. That's what your scar means, doesn't it? You do tricks on command and sleep in a kennel, isn't that right? Why don't you bark for me, Elf? Go on, bark. Uh, if I speak to this man for one more moment, I will slaughter him. Toodaloo, slave. Can we kill him? Please, can we kill him? Wait, let me talk to him first. I want to talk to him. Well, don't you look like hell? Swallowed something that doesn't agree with you? Tell me, was it a demon's nice, big... You're gonna say Pekka again? Pekka? This guy, honestly. <sighs> you know, I have a feeling we all want to kill you about now. Let me speak to whoever's really in charge. Or shut up. And once it's strong enough, You'll be little more than a meat carcass for it to use however it pleases. Are you going to tell us where this treasure is, or...? Oh, you poor thing. You really think I'm going to answer to you, don't you? We both know who's really in charge, don't we? And once it's strong enough, you'll be little more than a meat... Enough. Till next time, meat. Fuck yourself. Alright, so we're not going to take this guy's bait. We're not gonna... We're not gonna attack him, that's clearly what he wants. Ha! Here today, gone tomorrow. An illusion. Life's a dream. This fellow must be quite proud of himself. An illusory crate? Whatever, man. Huh. Clever. Huh. An illusory bridge. Illusory. Let's see what illusory shit he has in his illusory pockets. Illusory nothing. What an asshole. I remember hearing a hint about this place from somebody that we talked to. Maybe it was on maybe it was an animal or something. Painting of a man. The plaque on this well-framed piece proclaims the subject to be one Maxos, wizard exemplary. down here. Anyway, I remember hearing that there's a an invisible staircase in here someplace. So we need to keep an eye out for that. Of course, we can't really literally keep an eye out for it because it's invisible. So we won't be able to see it. So all we can really do... is, um... I bet we can't get through this thing. I have a feeling. I have a feeling about this. My feeling is that we're not gonna be able to get through here. And my feeling is correct. A magical barrier the likes of which we've never before. Oh my god, look at this treasure room though. We're gonna have to go around some lengthy roundabout bullshit sort of way. Get in there. 
say my first rodeo. This ain't my first Dunjodio. Did you just say Dunjodio? I'm taking an illusory crate along with us everywhere we go. game just saved itself. You know that's not a good... It's not a good sign. Skull with candle? It's not a good sign. Ah, we can get up on this. Just clicking randomly to see if there's any walkable area over there, like there's some sort of invisible... Real crates. Milk, stained shirt, and a repair hammer. Yay, milk. If Nox was here, he'd be happy. Okay, we can climb up this thing. There's nothing walkable out here. I've already left behind my crate. I wonder what the point of this is. Like. This connects back through to here. What's the point of even having? Didn't I tell you to leave? Wasn't I clear that you're not welcome here? Oh, you can't teach a fool anything. Oh, he wants to fight now. All right, well, fuck this guy. Oh, and he's got. Oh, I see. There are multiple Trompdoys. This version of him looks like a wizard. Low physical armor, high arcane armor. This guy's kind of a ranger with pretty decent of both kinds of armor. And he's the fighter, very high physical. All right, well, let's leave fighter and shield guy for the last. That guy should be our main priority, the wizard dude, but frankly, He's so far away. I think we're gonna go after this ranger guy first. Target is too far. Rocks are being smoked. Okay. Um. I think Fane is going to delay. It's distribute some damage. That's not really a big deal. I could put Shackles of Pain. I could send Ifan down to tank these two, presumably. Possibly. Or spread my wings. I could fly. Over we put wreckage on this guy. Fly into position. I've got two action points left. I guess I should just. What 
What if I shackles of pain? Oh, he's too far. I could shackles of pain this guy. Or I could just... Fortify. 79 physical armor. Bull's horns. And encourage. I should have done that before I moved. He's planning to do some bullshit if he's casting rain right now. Notice how the water mysteriously doesn't get by the ranger. Alright, we're gonna ace this ranger. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flash sacrifice. I'm going to haste Fane. I'm going to teleport. If I teleport this guy, hmm. If I teleport this guy. hell? Oh, have they been revealed to be illusions? Is he the real one? Or maybe all three of them are illusions. Because they look like they've been revealed to be illusions, but I don't know what I'm really looking at. Okay, this guy... Lots of resist to poison. He's undead. Not very little resist to fire. This guy. Alright, so let's fireball these cats. In such a way. Bouncing shield. Rude. Alright. Now let's get my incarnate out. Fire incarnate right here. And that's far side infusion. Power infusion. Oh, so powerful. My incarnate can whirlwind these guys. And he can fireball in such a way. Good. Now they're both burning, and they're both out of magic armor. Strong. Elemental arrowheads. Hmm. Alright, I have... How come I don't have five action points? I was hasted. What happened to Fane's haste? Hmm. I don't understand what happened. I'm not amused. Fane could cloak and dagger. Get elemental arrowheads. He could put one of them to sleep. Like the big tank guy. He could ricochet. He's got two points left. Put this guy to sleep. And 
and we could move up to here. I don't think he'd still be in range to Elemental Arrowhead though. Maybe he would. Now he gets another turn. Damn it! I should have teleported. Now I had to waste an extra action point on this. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna teleport him right up on here. I'm gonna elemental error had this fire. <coughs> <coughs> now he's got three points left. That guy's sleeping. Let's blast this dude. He's almost out of physical armor. I could almost chicken him. These guys are undead, so I could throw first aid on him. And do a pile of damage. Let's do it. Alright, so he retreats up to there. Starts shooting at Fane. The Incarnate... Should be able to finish this guy off. Very nice. And then he can... Setting knockdown. Why can't he? Oh, because there's a bunch of bullshit in the way right here. Move right up on this guy then. And save a point. Now the electricity comes out. Oh, is this blocked by magic armor? It's resisted by physical armor. Oh, Shackles of Pain is not nearly as good as I thought then. Right, I'm gonna fly right up here on this guy. I've got three points left. Let's see if I can blast his physical armor off. Okay, his physical armor's gone, but I've only got one point. Now I could shackle of pain him. But let's not, let's just first aid him. Okay, that guy woke up from sleeping. Alright. This guy is too far away for me to hit with any spells unless I fly first. But I could spontaneous combust this guy since he's on fire. And just did a ton of damage to him. And then I could light his ass up with restoration. Now he's gonna die just from that, probably. Um, but just in case, I'll finish him off with... Oh, he's a little bit too far away for that. Um, in that case, I'll fly. Alright, Losa is going to make a fire totem right here. She's got two points left. This guy should die just from the regeneration ticks, but I could be wrong. There we go, the explosion! Took him the fuck out. Very nice. Alright, the Incarnate... Oh, it's not the Incarnate's turn, it's Fane's turn. Well, Fane's got... 
Oh, he's just slightly out of range, huh? Alright, you know what? If I'm gonna have to go... Well, if I spend one action point, maybe I can get in range. No, we better fly. I could resurrect this guy's homie right next to him. Where'd the ranger go? Did he not leave a body behind? I don't think these guys are leaving bodies because they're ultimately like illusions or whatever. Yeah, early morning stream. How you doing, Tarawak? Good to see ya. Happy Friday the 13th. Alright, Fane's gonna fly. He'll fly over to here. And then he's still got enough actions points left. You know what, I don't want this guy giving us any trouble. No, I don't need to chicken him. Fuck it, let's just shoot him. Got 91 health left. And there's nothing else I can really do. <laughs> Did you just hit me with your stick, little man? Alright, I don't think the Incarnate's gonna be able to... ...do much. All right, Ifan. Just finish this guy. He's got no physical armor, so I can knock him down. And then I can just hit him with something. I mean, I could turn him into a chicken or dick around like that, but... He's almost dead. We'll just kill him. It's no big deal. I don't think Sabeel's got enough range, but she can fly somewhere where she does have enough range. I fucking love all my characters being able to fly well, all of them except Losa. And when she levels up again, she's going to get the ability to fly too. And then I'll have four flying characters. Uh, 30 health. Let's finish him off with some fiery daggers. Oh, he lived through that because he still had magic armor left. Alright, well he ain't gonna live through first aid. Of course he's too far away. Alright, well in that case I guess I can't finish him off. All I can really do is buff him. I don't think these totems can really hit him from there, but... We'll throw some more totems down. And she'll just move over here. Doesn't really matter. Bane's gonna kill him now, anyway. 1200 XP! I think those were just illusionary images of him, though. I don't think that was actually the guy. Oh, a freezing arrow. I don't think that was actually the guy. So I have a feeling we're still going to have to deal with him. I don't suppose he's still back in that first room standing there. <clears throat> oh, a chest. A lot of blood right there. We're going to rest just in case we need to. A mushroom here. <clears throat> Bone pile. How are you doing, Tarawak? Lemonade to a fawn. Meat to a fawn. A crate. Let's go back over here real quick. And see. Across the invisible bridge. Oh! He is there, and now he's hostile. Oh, good. Well, it's just one of him? Cut the games, Trompdoy. You're about to get stompdoid. Long night, finally over. About ready to pass out. Gotta go back in seven hours. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of work, man. When you just get home from work and you gotta go back in seven hours, that's rough. That is rough. 
He's just gonna delay. I like having Fane delay right out the gate. Did he just run up to us and do nothing? Okay, we're about to stomp this fool. This isn't even gonna be funny. Prepare yourself. I got four points. Charge him. Just hit him. I like that we're fighting on an invisible bridge. Losa. I want a surface for her to summon from. She's going to delay. Alright, Sabil can create a surface. A very fiery one. Alright, let's make sure that we're not catching our party members in this by placing it such late. Is he burning? No, because he has magic armor. Alright. Let's haste fame. For real this time. And I have one point left. Let's toss a little bit of restoration on this undead fucker. Alright, now Losa can summon her incarnate out of the flames. And she can infuse it. You started over. You're going lone wolf with a summoner, caster, and a ranger scoundrel. Really? Maybe a battle mage that two hands a staff. I'm thinking fire whirlwind. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. I was thinking about, what if I played this game with just four summoners? And we just sent our incarnates to do the dirty deeds on everybody. I mean, that's not all they'd have. They'd have other magic as well, but... I like the idea of having four of these little guys. Look how tough my incarnate is. He's a badass. Look how much damage he does, too. A lot. Okay, so this guy needs to get rid of some armor. Oh, he can fireball. Yay! Let's throw down another fireball. Right on to Actually, how many action points is that? Two. Let's hit him with this first. Then fireball him. Now he's burning. Now, now Sabil can drop uh, that combustion spell on him, which does a ton of damage if you cast it on somebody who's already burning. All right, now Fane can get some fire on his arrows. And we can pour it on this guy. I have three action points left. I could put him to sleep, too. Let's drill him and put him to sleep so he doesn't even get a turn. Now Fane gets another... Ho oh, now Fane's going to wake him up, but that's fine. I should have thought, I didn't realize he was going to get two turns in a row. I should have done this on the second turn. But now he'll just shoot him twice and do a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, actually, we're just going to kill him. But it looks like he too is just an illusion. Can we do something about this fire? That'd be great. I love my little burning guy. Nervous about the summoner? The incarnate seems squishy, but the totem... The incarnate is not squishy at all, though. Look how much armor... Look how much physical and magical armor my incarnate has. Like, a lot more than most of my other characters. 
actually, scratch that, a lot more than all of my other characters. Yeah, he has less health, but if you make a water incarnate, they can heal themselves. If you make a blood incarnate, they can heal themselves. If you... After you have them, you can cast Power Infusion and Farsight Infusion on them again, which will give them a bunch more magic and physical armor after they're already in existence. I mean, they're pretty they're pretty tough, actually. Plus, enemies tend to kind of ignore them and attack your characters anyway. So then... And then those totems are so good, man. Imagine having four guys with four incarnates, and every round they summon four more totems, the next round they summon four more totems, the next round they summon four more totems, now there's fucking... 12 totems all shooting at the enemies. Enemies are wasting their attacks killing totems, or wasting their attacks on incarnates. It would be, it would be pretty glorious, I think. But I don't know if it would actually work, you know, for real, but... The idea of it sounds pretty glorious. And of course you'd still have like other spells on them, like healing spells and other magic spells. I would I would have four summoners and I'd have all of them with first aid and restoration. So we could do plenty of healing as well. Have at least summon rank one on everyone just for totems. It's not a bad idea. I should probably get summon rank one on my other characters. I mean, he can summon his undead thing now, but it sucks compared to an incarnate. Plus, if you have summoning, you can also get rallying cry, which is another heal, and it, it gives a lot of vitality and magic armors because it's based on the number of allied characters and totems in their vicinity. So if you cast this on somebody and you've got multiple allies around, you know, like if I bring out my incarnate and I throw down and I throw down some area here and I pull a totem out of there and then I rally and cry this guy. Let's see how much it heals him for. Yeah. 198 point heal and 78 points of magic armor. Rallying Cry is freaking incredible. And that's just with one incarnate and one totem down. So Rallying Cry would actually be an incredible healing spell. If you had a whole party of summoners. <laughs> oh, I put some oil here in our way. Let's get rid of that oil. Fireball's my go-to for everything now. Fireball! Does anybody else in my party know how know Cryomancy? Because actually I just learned how to make a fireball book. Cryomancy, or I mean not Cryo, Pyromancy. He doesn't. He doesn't. Does she? She doesn't, but I want her to because she's got... She's got, um... Well, maybe she doesn't have anything to use for it. But anyway, I can take this blank skill book and I can combine it with a fireball scroll and I can make a book of fireball. So I could teach another party member fireball if I had another person with pyromancy. The necromancy spell that forces heals to damage. Oh, that could be amazing, actually. I never thought about that. Let's see if I can kill Fane. Because Fane takes healing as damage. Okay, hold on. We're going to test something. Quick saving. See if I can one-shot Fane with this. Of course, he's got a bunch of magic armor, so it probably won't one-shot him, but... I get my Incarnate down. Sabeel. Lay us down some fire. Let's grab a totem. Grab one more totem. 
seriously? Well, whatever. We'll just make a, a shit totem. Alright, now let's see if we can kill Fane with this. We damn near killed him. Oh, it went off his physical armor. Interesting. Yeah, we hit him for 198 points. That's a pretty big fucking hit. So yeah, you could force heals to damage and then put that on somebody and it would be pretty good. Pretty good damage for level, you know, 7. Alright, anyway, there's a treasure chest over here now. How far did you get in the game, Tarawak? Did you actually get off of the starting island? <laughs> Poor idiot. <laughs> oh, you got jokes. Oh, feeling empty headed, are we? I'd ask if you were born yesterday, but you're clearly a little older than that. Poor idiot. What a fool you are. In what world does treasure simply appear from on high? In a world of you getting your ass kicked. <laughs> Poor idiot. <laughs> Poor idiot. <laughs> Can't even. Ha! What an asshole. He's got a point though. It was kind of dumb of me. He made it off Fort Joy? Yeah, obviously I haven't yet. I can't even kill this guy. Whatever. He can go fuck himself. Uh, you play on Tactician, right? I actually like the game a lot better now that I'm playing on Tactician. It, it was way too easy there for a while. It was just too easy. Now it's like most of the fights are actually pretty serious. I've got to like really... Hey, here's a rat you can talk to. Oh, you're playing Classic? Okay. Well, I was playing Classic up until yesterday when I decided to change it. But I've already done a couple really tough fights on Tactician, so... Makes things more tense for sure. Talk to this rat. Are you an illusion? Well, it takes one to know one, mate. Well, do you know anything useful about the dungeon? It's a riddle, isn't it? Um, a conundrum. Uh, what shit you'll have to solve. Well, you know, sometimes people like to give each other clues to riddles. That'd be pretty cool. I thought you looked clueless, all right? The thing is, it's about the letters, isn't it? One for each thing. Easy. Hmm, just a second. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, letters, one for each thing. Well, all right, thanks. I guess that'll probably be helpful. Yeah, sure. Hope you don't die. Well, nice to meet you too, rude thing. I do absolutely want to set up DOS 2 games as a game master. I kind of want to finish the main campaign first the main game and then start doing that but yeah i totally want to i've already messed around in game master mode some just to uh 
see what it was like. Actually, I spent quite a few hours messing around in there. Like making custom creatures and stuff. It seemed pretty cool. Is it pretty intuitive? Yeah, it seems... Uh-oh, this looks dodgy. Seems pretty user-friendly. i make sure... Oh, there's nothing I can do. If there's a trap or something, I'm just gonna have to spring it. Oh. Physical armor potion to a fawn. Gold to a fawn. What's up, Saito? What are you doing? Taking some moments off from your unethical human experiments in your quote-unquote lab, also known as Chamber of Horrors, to uh, stop in to view some streaming, huh? Good to see ya. Take those bloody latex gloves off and kick back and relax for a few. Okay, this fucking room looks questionable as shit. Why do I get the feeling that random Gregor the Red is on the wall? That random, like, bolts of lightning and death stuff is going to be hitting me any moment after I step in here. Oh, no. I don't trust this room. Where did I even come in here? Also, hold on. Where does this go? Uh, back to where the illusionary chest was. Okay, well if that's the case, then where... I, I see there's a... Where does this go? Oh, I found another... See, I just found another area by looking at the map that I never noticed. Dark cavern. Don't know how long you'd be able to stay. Thought Look you'd out. pop in. I see a trap nearby. Okay, well that's rude. Alright, let's navigate this fucking carefully. Fane, go by yourself. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Oh, I might actually have to disarm these. At least one of them. That looks dangerous. Maybe I can disarm it. Well, disarm away, man. A trap. Better give it a wide berth. No, no, I don't want you to. That looks dangerous. Stand there and Maybe opine on the trap. I want you to disarm it. The problem with disarming in this game is doing so uses up trap disarm kits. Like right now, I have six. If I disarm this trap. Now I have five. And they're not exactly fucking cheap. They're pretty expensive, actually. So, you can't really afford to disarm every damn trap you come across. Plus, you don't get XP for doing it. So it's better to not disarm traps if you can get away with it. But then again, why don't I just step on the fucking traps, take the damage, and then just use my bedroll for free? So then, most of the traps you find, you just avoid instead of disarming. And you've got to go really slow, too, because you'll disarm that fucking thing and immediately run onto it if you're not being careful. Where does this go? Wait a minute, was this always here? Oh, that might be at that end. All right. Show me what's going to happen next. Oh, a wand of nature, a fortify scroll. I'm going to send that to Spiel. Wand of nature, she's kind of the person that collects all my random wands. Gold. Anything else under there? Okay. Now the thing is, 
That's a trap. Yeah. I could spend a disarm thing, or I could just be like, Boop. I don't know why I even bothered to disarm that other one. I forgot that I could just fly over it or teleport past it or, you know, whatever the hell I want. Oh, this is illusory. That's why I didn't find this way before. Because it's an illusion. A lot of illusions in this place. I gotta pay attention to the map in here to make sure I'm not missing places. Let's see, like, this is this room. I've been down here to where these crates are. This is where we came in, right? This is where the invisible barrier was. This is where we came in. So, if we look at the map for this, problem is it's hard to see. That's the starting area. What's this little jive right down here? After coming across on the invisible bridge, there's this little area right over here. Let's see, there's no there's no clickable area here, so there's not like an invisible sky forge or something. Fuck you, Trompdoy! <laughs> Poor idiot. <laughs> that was even easier than I thought. Maybe I can kill him. If I just keep spamming away like this. That was even easier than I thought. Can kill him. That was even easier than I thought. Fuck you, invisible illusion asshole. But he's not worth anything. Except for my satisfaction. Sailing Chop should give you XP. Yeah, it should. That's my new skill. I just got this. This Cloak and Dagger skill makes me really happy. What's really cool about it is I can do that teleport while sneaking or invisible and it doesn't break stealth. Which is pretty rad. And it only costs a single action point to use. Pretty nice. So I combine that with the fact that I can also fly. And this rogue can get wherever the fuck he needs to get to. And he can turn invisible, of course. Alright. Rogue, rejoin the party. Let's roll on. Actually, I think in most games that I've played, Disabling Traps doesn't give you XP, except for like ones that are based on old editions of D&D. I don't know, maybe, maybe in most games you do get XP for Disabling Traps, I'm not sure. What I do know is this. We've got a, we've got a very dodgy looking room ahead. And I feel like bad things are going to happen in this room. Mysterious room, yeah, no shit. And you thought Rivalon was flat. Decorational sword. Hey, 75 gold. Take it. Take an empty cup, a bottle of wine. I don't need that bowl. Boring. Apparently I do need that bowl. Apparently that bowl has already been added to one of my bags where it's stacked with other bowls. Stained shirts. Crappy swords. Painting of a man. I'm not going to touch that door right now. Painting of Blosser. Painting of Gregor the Red. Take 
take those paintings. Another door I'm also not going to touch right now. These knives and forks are worth a surprisingly large amount of money. What about these plates? Oh, those plates are worth a lot! Shit! Got a crafting Bible, part 99,000. Painting of a man. Paint portrait of a woman. Some questionable looking fucking mirror. We'll just come right back to that. A bowl. A lot of doors. And the thing is, Thane Wolfric. There's that guy, that goofy looking guy. And you thought Rivalon was flat. Landscape painting. Oh, more decorational items. Of presumptive value. Okay, take it all. Can't reach. Telekinetic girl? Thank you. reach. Alright. Crafting Bible. Losa will sort that out. Alright. We'll go to her. We'll take Phoenix Egg. Hey, that's what that weird armor that I got says on it. Send that to a fawn. Body and Mysterious, the young woman gracing this cameo portrait wears the fashions of a bygone era. The brooding gaze of a bearded man sears into your mind. Investigation of the plaque beneath shows us to be an artist's interpretation of Ralic, one of the seven. Ralic is like the god of the humans. I've already met Ralic in the game. We had a little talk. He wants me to be his champion or some shit. I was like, eh, maybe. We'll see what I'm doing later. Thanes and these... To Ifan and all of these things get added to wares. Wait. Decorational shield. Plates. Delicious silverware. Trigger the red. Nope. Teaches me recipes. I learned some new recipes. Yay. Alright. We've looted the room. Let's find out what's up with this fucking... Let's find out what what's up with this uh, mirror. Oh no! I'm overburdened. Well... There's only one way to deal with that. And that's to get unoverburdened. And the way I shall do that By talking to my man, Urban here. As we slowly head through the blessed waters. What is up, Bloodluster? How you doing? Good to see ya. Welcome, Bloodluster. What's going on with you? Muted at work. Have a great stream. So you can't hear any of the things I'm saying. Man, that Bloodluster. What a goofy motherfucker. What a sense. character. That son of a gun. Bloodluster. Roar. Mean things being said him about him. He can't him. hear us. Ha ha. <laughs> nah. You're cool, Bloodluster. He works on with a grim determination and does not look up. Uh, okay, offer wares. Oh, he's got a lot of money now. Take his gold. Thank you. Alright. You know, while I'm here, 
Do I want to buy anything? I don't really want any of these old same hat ass skill books. I don't really want any of these jank ass items. The Illuminator, I sold him that. That's a nice fucking item, but... I sold him that splendid tunic. I wore that thing for a long time. Gloves of War. This is pretty nice, but... Eh. I think there was one item, though. I don't think he has it. I think the Priestess has it. That I was pretty intrigued by. I'm not going to sell any of this other stuff. I've got a lot of money now, so I could really start thinking about spending some. Um... How's my inventory looking? 158. Man, I'm carrying a lot of stuff, and everybody else is running up on their inventory limit as well. Carrying too many things. Makes it hard being Snoop D O double G. And have you found them? No, I don't Did have the soul jars. Soul Get jar? off me. I think what I wanted was like a ring that she has. Astarte's tears. I told you lies. That's a nice belt. I'll bet that's better than what she's wearing. We'll go home. We'll be safe. Hold on. We won't have to All right, I can compare by just selecting her. I guess she doesn't need a telekinesis belt because she's got a telekinesis necklace Glad and a telekinesis there. staff. If she needs to equip those to get super telekinesis, she can. So, but this is the item I'm looking into. Gives you restoration skill, which would be great. Now, admittedly, um, Sabil and Losa both already have restoration, but I could give it to Afan, and then he would have an extra healing skill, and a bunch of magic armor, and hit points, and constitution, and he could get rid of the uh, lemon ring, which is giving him Geomancer, which he doesn't really need. Do I really want to spend a thousand on it, though? Graciana, but this is like a unique special item that's only available here. It's even got her name in the description of the item. Yeah, this is still Act 1. Yeah, no, putting items in bags does not magically obviate their weight. Until I find a bag that does so, maybe. That'd be cool. Astarte's Tears. I think I'm going to get it. Gratiana likes making trinkets dedicated to the healing powers of Astarte. I think I'm going to buy this. I have a lot of gold, so I might as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this conversation. I'm going to equip this ring instead of the lemon ring. My hit points go all the way up to 287, and I have a heal now, in addition to the first aid heal. So now, I have a lot of heals. She has two heals, she has two heals, and he has two heals. And shit, he even has a heal now. And then, the lemon ring can go to... He doesn't need Geomancer. He doesn't have any Geomancer well, abilities. She has Geomancer abilities, though. So she could use this instead of this crappy ring. And make her Geomancer better for Fossil Strike and Poison Dart. And then this ring with three armor on it will probably go to there. nobody. Because we've already all got better stuff than you that. So then I can resell that. For and? Have an you impressive Did you bring the forty-four coins. 
Go yeah, I haven't them. found the soul jars. Quit crying about the soul jars every five minutes. Alright. Why not sell off some crap from the bags for less than your burden? Because everything that's in the bags I think I might use. Uh, look, I'm gonna get a base at some point. You get a base in this. Probably at the end of Act 1. And then you can store stuff. But everything in here is for crafting... Or crafting or food or like plot items or things that look like they might be used for a quest or something that I don't know what to do with yet I told you so I don't really have anything I really want to sell at this point I mean everything that I'm car I'm not carrying around anything that's just pure loot at this point will know what to do He'll take care of us. Just carrying a lot of stuff. I pray for these sources. But yeah, I'll be able to store some stuff once I get whatever the base mechanic is for this game. Anyway, I need to end this episode. I'm not going to stop playing, though. So if you're watching on stream, don't go anywhere because I'm not done playing. If you're watching on YouTube, this episode is now at an end. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2.